Hello and welcome to this online tutorial on how to use Show My Homework. Now, we're assuming you've all got logged on and you've got your PIN number from your letter or you can get that from your teachers and that you have um, gone past the login and you've created your login using the um, your school email address ideally and created a password and now you've got to the screen uh, which we see here which shows your to-do list. Now the to-do list is really useful it shows all of the homeworks in order that are due and upcoming. It will even show homeworks that are past completion so if there's a past due homework, one that's gone past a deadline, it will come up in red here and show you the upcoming works in the next week. And it also shows you the homeworks that you've done in the past so I can go to completed homeworks here and I can see the list there of ones you've marked as completed. It doesn't do that automatically, all you need to do is when you feel you've done a homework, say for instance you've handed it into the teacher and you don't want to see it on the list anymore, just tick the box here and it will move to completed. So if I say do we still need zoos, I can say that's completed, but then oh no, it's not completed, I'll take it back and put it back onto the issued screen here. You've got a nice little search box here, so for instance, say someone sent me a homework about DNA and I wanted to find it really quickly, I could type in DNA, oh and there we go, extracting DNA practical. So it's very easy to find your way around. Now if you want to have a look at the homework someone set you, quite easily you just click on this task here and you'll see the homework and you'll see uh, any other linked information. So this one for instance has got a video um, which is linked to YouTube and it's also got an attached document which I can click to open and that will open that help sheet. Now there is another way you could see homework as well you could go back to the homework calendar. The homework calendar shows you all the homework from when it starts to when it's due in. So you can see all of these different homeworks. So the ones in grayed out here are the ones that have gone past the deadline but you can still click on these. So for instance I can click on this one, do we still need zoos? And access that one again here. Again I've got a video and um, a link to a website here to help me. It also tells me how long I expect to do this homework and whether or not the teacher expects us to hand it in online or in class. Now this one it says uh, Mr Marshall would like you to hand in this homework online via Show My Homework. Now that's one of the options we have. So I'm going to go to this particular student that's uploaded something. So I'm going to go to their to-do list and they've recently uploaded a homework about mineral deficiencies which they've already done and you can see in this column here you've got results and submit so if you want to submit uh, an online homework um, and upload it you just click on submit and you can get this window here now this one's already been submitted it says you have submitted this piece of homework and you can see that's where it that's where it's sitting there and they could also submit further documents to that but if I go to a homework she hasn't done, do we still need zoos, and go to submit, you'll get this window here. Now what you've got here is two choices. Your teacher might ask you to do the work on a, on a Word document, or on a um, Excel, or any, could be a PowerPoint, could be Publisher, could be any program. But only all you need to do is basically either click on this Add Attachment button, or you can uh, just drag and drop the files into this box here and they can be up to 25 megabytes in size. So if I do atta add attachments, now if you do use Google Drive or Dropbox you can use these to access those directly. I'm just going to attach it locally. So I'm just going to choose a PowerPoint here. I'm just going to click on this PowerPoint here and it uploads it to the uh, to here and now it says here I've uploaded it. I can download it back to my computer or I can remove it. Here I've got another option. Now this is just a text box. In here I can type in um, any text that I want. I've got some simple editing tools, bold, italic, okay, and that just allows you to answer simple questions. So say for instance your teacher has asked you to write a paragraph about what you'd seen in an experiment or uh, whatever the particular thing they've asked you to do, or even ask you to uh, answer questions uh, online and just answer them here. You could just type in your information in that box. 
this is the answer to the question. So now we've done that, we can see we've got submit to teacher or saves as draft. If it saves as a draft, you can carry on later, but you won't, uh, your teacher won't see it. Or we can submit the assessment to the teacher. I'm going to go straight ahead and submit that assessment to the teacher. And there you can see the teacher now will get a warning saying that there's a piece of homework that's been submitted and they can send comments back to you. I can also go through and, and remove that submission as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to have a look at a piece of homework that this student has submitted and they've got some feedback on. So I'm going to go to the uh, gradebook. Now the gradebook here shows all the homework this person's done. Not all of it has come up as submitted because some of it is an online submission, some of it is just handed in. And you can see this one here has been submitted and it's been graded. So I can click on this task here and I could see here in results. And now you've got the grade for what this uh, has achieved. You have the teacher comments that I've written back to the student here saying what things they need to improve. You can enter a comment back here and then that will go back to the teacher. You can even um, later on up, uh, upload a resubmission. You can go back to submit and you could submit that again with corrections. So there's lots of different things that you can do. If you're doing a particular task where you're doing virtual green pen work in a way you could uh, get the feedback, have a look at the uh, marks and then upload that homework. So that just concludes what we've got here just to show you how to use the uh, Show My Homework service and some of the more advanced things you can do. Also keep an eye on this little panel here, this is the uh, notifications and this is the thing that will light up saying when um, someone has set you work or marked work or added a comment and you can see all the notifications here and that will take you straight there so I can see that I've uh, graded the mark here, graded the work and marked it here and I've put a new comment here so I'm going to just click on that and go straight to the comment here and it will appear there. And that's all for this tutorial.